Hey guys, I think we are live now. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask it. I can now see the questions of you guys. I have it all lined up here. And yeah, that's the first live stream of um, 2022. And I really plan on doing these regularly. I think in the future I will ask for topics on the Instagram account and ask you guys what I should talk about. I have also a little goodie at the end of this live stream and will show you a, an awesome technique how to smooth skin, how to get uh, rid of red spots just with two of my brushes and the new masking tool. Um, yeah, so I will start uh, with the Vibe presets. Vibe is like a really gritty and um, special preset while mellow is like a softer really versatile true to color awesome preset so uh, yeah let's get started uh, i think this photo what you see here you already ha have seen before and i've edited it with with um, yp11 so i will do it again with yp11 and that's the one click so of course we have to brighten it up I also warmed it up a good bit to get my skin tones uh, until I was satisfied with the overlook. And now you can, with the new presets I created, I have um, implemented a profile that's called small skin adjustment. And you have now a one slider option to adjust your skin tones. And I will now decrease a little bit. The I will go overboard now so you see what happens. See, it's like completely desaturated and it's now I will dial it in to a point where I like it, like so. And that's almost the, the end result I had before. And <clears throat> the awesome thing with the small skin adjustment is it's not only the, the orange saturation or something, it's a combination of several settings to make it way easier. And so you have all sliders you need in the basic panel. Um, I will show you a few more edits I've selected a few of the raw files you guys sent in. As you can see, I have a total of 686 raw files, which is way too much, of course. Um, here is something which I would call is like a typical photo, which I uh, would use a vibe preset on because it's a dark street scene. And I will show you here what happens if I click vibe one. It's, of course, a little bit underexposed. And here I just will raise the exposure until I'm satisfied again. And that's it. I think this sets the mood so awesome. It's a cold, rainy night. It, you, all the focus is on the window. So that's how I edit it. Here's the next photo. I think it's from uh, Jess Dreaming or something on Instagram. She was the only one sh who didn't name her oh, a lot of files are not named after the photographer. Here's another one from Jess. And what I like to do with stuff like that is I think I will use, um, let me see. I think I will use Vibe 3 on this one. I will brighten it up because the reason why I use Vibe 3 now is that it um, saturates the orange a good bit. And what I like to do is I like to add a little bit more contrast and I will also go to the HSL settings and give it even more saturation saturation and luminance to the orange to make it pop because i like the complementary colors of blue and orange in this photo and yeah i developed this preset like all my presets it's i always develop them for me in the first place because i envision something for my work and this time i wanted to have something really gritty, totally off the stuff I normally do for my travel photography. And at one point I had this preset and I was really satisfied with it. And I was really unsure if I should release it because it's so different from what I normally do. But yeah, I think it came out pretty awesome. So I will show you the, the beach photo, um, which I added with Vibe as well. I don't even know which one. I think I used Vibe 1 on this one. I don't really remember oh and one one little feature i love to use is on on my settings here on on the panels when you right click your panels in lightroom classic there's something called solo mode if you enable solo mode and you click one of the panels 
all other panels will close automatically. And I love it because uh, you always have just the panel you're working in right now and it's not like you have to scroll down uh, all the way. So that's the one click. I will brighten it up. And as you can tell, the skin tones, I will lower the highlights to get all the details in the sky. As you can tell now, the skin tones are pretty orange here on him. So I will use the small skin adjustment and just dial in my skin tones until I'm satisfied. Zoom out to see the full picture. And I think at this point, I can raise the shadows a little bit, like so. And that's my final add -on. Normally you could go in now and even go crazy on the sky and stuff, but I won't do this today to not like extend the time too much because I want to show you so many things. Uh, let's go to the next picture. Like something like that is a pretty typical photo I have in mind when I think about vibe presets. You know, you click it, boom, then you raise the exposure to make it almost monochromatic and cool it down even more to make the white really white. And that's like art for me, you know? That's the reason why I created Vibe. I wanted to, I don't know, do something different. You know, we all do a lot of weddings and couples and stuff, and we all have our workflow. And sometimes we just want to branch out, you know? Do something different, do something creative. And Vibe is me getting creative, doing totally different tones. Um, and I really enjoy it, yes. So let me show you another one. Here the the motorcycle photo, I really enjoy. You can see what happens when you click. Let me scroll through. I think I will go to, with white one again. Um, yeah, see, that's the one click. I will up the shadows a bit and pull down the exposure tab more and add some contrast. And that's it. That's my, here you can see before and after. I think that's pretty awesome and that's a perfect example because you don't have to worry about skin tones here it's more of a creative shot a rolling shot of a, of a motorcycle and i really think it's it's perfect for for this kind of photo but of course it also works with the new small skin adjustment slider it also works on on all kind of photos here is like a wedding shot and i don't let me go to vibe 11 <coughs> Pull down the exposure. Skin tones don't even look so bad. I will warm it up a little more and we'll also adjust now the skin tones. Yeah, like so. Let me show you. This is like an, a, a perfect example for a travel photo. Like, I don't know, let's see Vibe 4 here because Vibe gives these nice orange tones in, in the sunlight. I will brighten up, pull up the shadows warm up the white balance a little bit more to get the sun peeking around here and sometimes what i like to do is um first i have to straighten the photo because it's a little bit off like i think though and <clears throat> let me show you another wedding photo this photo is perfect because um of all the blue tones let's say we go with maybe vibe 2 or no, maybe Vibe 11. It's more like, yeah, let's go with Vibe 11, brighten up the exposure. I will warm it up ev even less, no, a little bit more. And now we can dial in the skin tones again with a skin adjustment here. And yeah, that's it. Here's the before and after. I think it's look, it looks awesome, but it's definitely not um, the look for everyone. I think uh, the the look is really gritty, it's really harsh in contrast. Sometimes uh, the luminance in the HSL settings are really extremely pulled down to exaggerate the sky and stuff. So it's, yeah, you can tweak it pretty easily, but normally my presets are that you can stay in the basic panel only and get perfect edits. I will show you this, um, this forest street scene here with, uh, Again, I think Vibe 3 because I like it. Brighten it up a little bit. Pull down the highlights. Like so. I think that's really supporting the whole mood. Here is the before and after. Yeah. Let's move to the mellow presets. Have a close vibe. Yeah, you all saw this photo yesterday. 
So. Um, Sarah, good question. Does the skin slider work with all the small presets? The good thing is, once you have purchased, um, I can show you. Let me show you. Let's go to, for example, small rows. And we go like small rows one. Let me do a quick edit, like so. And then let's say we have way too warm white balance. Then you can go here on this little grid. You click here. Then you see the small profiles. You click small skin adjustment. In the first step, it will be at 100. That's always the normal profile, but you can pull it down. Close it here. Now you have the small skin adjustment with small rose presets and can dial in your skin tone. See? You can desaturate it, you can pull it down until you're satisfied. And these will work with every preset I've ever released. The only thing you need with the new presets is at least Lightroom Classic 10 or the new Lightroom CC because of the color grading feature we have now and because of all new features you will need. You need to, your Lightroom version has to support profiles. So let me show you one. Let me reset it here with the mellow preset because we are here today to um, edit with the mellow preset. So I used mellow 4, I think, because it's one of my favorite presets of the new set. And all I did here is basically warm it up a tad, like so, brighten it up, and that's it. Here you can see the before and after. And now you can show you what happens when you click through all other presets, what happens with the tones here, what the greenery, or here, mellow 5, mellow 6, 7, 8, 9. Here is the black and white, mellow 11, also beautiful, mellow 12, another black and white. So, <clears throat> yeah, but I stick with mellow 4 because I love it here. I love the, 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 the greenery with the mellow 4. So let me show you the next one. I try to select... Uh, all kind of different scenarios like harsh light, indoor, uh, people of color, newborns, childs, yeah, everything. I tried to show you all the edits here. It's like 20 photos. And with the last photo here with the newborn, I will show you an awesome skin smoothing technique um, with the new masking features and with my small um, skin brush and with my Soulmate um, red spot removal brush. So let me go to the next picture. Here's some harsh light. And that's one click, mellow one, and I wouldn't do anything here to be, yeah. I would be satisfied with this edit. Here's a before and after. I mean, yeah, it's it's really, they are, they are definitely soft in contrast. Here I can show you small preset 2021, for example. You will see how much more saturated the skin tones on small are. So here's mellow one. It's definitely softer in contrast and the blacks. I mean, you can always add contrast with the mellow presets. They are f the tonality of mellow is definitely softer, timeless. I really love it. I think it's this set is definitely one of my best sets I've ever created. So let's go to the next one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I will probably go with mellow two here to not click again mellow one. Um, that's one click edit. You see the before and after. In my opinion, it's absolutely amazing. I can show you the, the, the other sets to be like Mellow 4. You can see what happens with the greenery. Mellow 5 or like Mellow 7 or Mellow 8. Mellow 7 is awesome because it's kind of soft. Mellow 8 here, 9 or black and white also as well. Mm, yeah, let's stick with Mellow 2 for this edit here. So the next one is pretty pretty cold and a little bit unexposed. So of course it will raise the exposure a little bit and search for my preset first. Maybe let's go with mellow one here. Then it's of course way, 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 way too cold. So I will warm it up until I'm satisfied with skin tones. Like so the exposure is a tad too bright now. And yeah, I think that's, that's a great edit. Let me show you the before and after. That's like, what was it? Three clicks or something like that. 
I always try to make the editing as easy as possible because I'm lazy. I want to have, I love the, the photographing, photographing and stuff, but I really don't want to spend all the time behind my computer when I just want to show people what I've created. And I think with these presets, it's now become even easier. So let's go to the next one. Here is like a red headed guy in yeah midday sun. Like I said, I wanted to show you all the versatility of the presets. Uh, let me go with metal four here. It's a little bit too bright. I will darken it and I will warm up the exposure, uh, the, the white balance <laughs> exposure. I will warm up the white balance and now I, we can go through so you can see what happens with the greenery. Here's mellow eight, mellow nine or mellow one, two, or here, ni nice black and white. I think the black and whites are really awesome. So next one, the next one is, uh, yes. In, in deep shade, in, 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 in closed shade, wild sunset. So it's of course too dark. I will brighten it up a little bit. Then I will click mellow one first. I will warm it up because they are in shade and shade is around like 6,500 Kelvin. So I will orient me myself on this until I'm satisfied with skin tones, like so, maybe a tad darker. And here's the before and after, like, again, I always try to fix stuff in the basic panel first, before I go to HSL settings, because something is off or I like my taste is different. I will stay in the basic panel until it's perfect. I will stay here until I see skin tones are good and all the rest is good. Like, like you saw before here, I will click the preset and I will um, adjust the exposure. I will uh, adjust the, the white balance. Now I ha didn't have to um, correct the tint, but often I also work with the tint depending if the, ski the skin is too green or too, too magenta. Uh, but I'm ha satisfied with this one. We could click just any other preset here of the mellow presets. like. They will different look different, but they will all look great. Like Mellow 6, for example, is a tad red on the skin, as you can see. So I could either go to the tint and pull it down to, to the greener side, or I could simply use the small skin adjustment and just raise it a tad bit more, as you can see here, zoom out, and you have perfect skin again. I think the small skin adjustment slider as a profile is so freaking amazing. It's really so awesome. So let's go to the next shot. It's an indoor shot because somebody wanted to see indoor shots because she said um, she doesn't want a preset to to change the white balance. I don't know where this comes from because my preset never touch touched the white balance because I think it's it's not working because the lighting is always different and I don't I can't assume when somebody is shooting even if I would always suggest to shoot when the sun is going down and stuff. But yeah, like indoors, you won't shoot when sunset is, so the, the white bands will be different. So this is already really underexposed, as you can see. I will click any preset, I don't know which one. Mellow one, raise the exposure until I'm happy. I think it's a tad too green, so I will adjust my tint slightly like this. Maybe I would warm it up a bit more, like so, and that's it. That's a great edit in my opinion. I just checked the comments. Okay, great. If you have any questions, guys, you can always ask. I try to follow up. They they sometimes disappear the comments, so I have to click here again. So we can go through the other presets. Like I said, Mellow 11 or 12, the black and whites will work well. Here's 9, 6, or 4, 3. Yeah, they all work really well. Here's the next indoor shot with all natural light, no artificial lights. That's also one tip, trick, whatever you want to call it. If you shoot indoors, try to avoid any mixed lights. So if you have a lot of sun coming from the windows, avoid 100% any indoor lights to be turned on. You can use like as a as, as like a little bit of color pop and turn on some lamps if, if uh, lights if you like but if you get a cast on the skin from the indoor lights they will be way warmer than the light from outside and you will never be able to balance it and it will never look good so decide for one light source 
move closer to the window and your indoor shots will look great. I will go with Mellow 2 here, in this case, brighten it up, show you before and after, and that's it. Um, let's go to the next one. I even tried to include, <laughs> I tried to include some some dogs so that people can't say yeah, that they won't work on animals. But uh, let me go with um, yeah, let's mellow seven here because it's such a soft preset. We need to brighten it up, of course. Until so, it's a little bit green, so we will correct the tint until it doesn't look so green anymore, and we need to warm it up like so it's a little bit flat for me so to add some pop all you need to do in my opinion is adjust the contrast slider here until I feel like oh nice that's my before and after with uh, mellow 7 let's go to the next one here's a nice couple shot with light from the sides um, let me go with I don't know I'm just scrolling through the presets and looking on the... Um, I will go with Mellow 9 here. We'll warm it up definitely a little bit. Get more magenta. It's a little bit too green. I think the, the grass around them will cast a little bit green on them. It's now a little bit too magenta. Let me see if another one fits more for my... Oh yeah, Mellow 2. I think Mellow 2 is great here. Um, this is perfect in my opinion. I won't touch it anymore. So I will leave this like that. Let me go to the next photo. Again, sunset with the red-headed mom and the red-headed baby. So they will have pretty pale skin, I think. For this, I will go with Mellow 2. Raise it a little bit. Definitely warm it up a lot because it's definitely way too cold. It's a tad too green like so it's a bit too much like so yeah a little bit contrast a little bit more contrast and i showed you before and after here you go i think that's an awesome edit um here again oh jamie that's a photo from jamie zonderman our one of our moderators she's an amazing photographer too um yeah she submitted some files again let me go with Mellow 1 here. It's a bit too cold, so I will warm it up. Like so. A little bit more magenta tint. And brighten it a tad more. And to show you how versatile they are, I will just click through all the others. Here's Mellow 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Mellow 7, 8, 9. 9 could be a little bit warmer, in my opinion. Um, 10, 11 for black and white, 12. And as you see, this is something I tried to do in my presets as well, that you can, you could even mix and match these in different sets, depending on if you're indoors or outdoors, because the skin tones will always be different in every single preset. The greens will be different, the blues will be different, but sometimes you need some kind of settings uh, exaggerated and stuff. That's the reason how I think when I produce my presets. So we can stick with any presets here. So the next, oh, it's also from Jamie. Let's go with Mellow 2 and tap it warmer brighter like so and that's already a great edit for me mellow 4 would work well it's next photo let's go with that's definitely a tad to code the photo i think but let me click any preset mellow 1 warm it up until i'm satisfied with the skin tone i always look for the skin tones when I edit, I click a preset, I look at the skin tones and the skin tones will tell me what the white balance needs to be. And that's how I also make my portfolio consistent because skin tones always have the same tonality. Even if, of course, people are for, have different skin tones, the tonality and the feel is always the same warmth and same saturation. And I control my warmth, my saturation and toning just through white balance and exposure. I use the temp tint of the white balance, of course. And now sometimes I use the small skin adjustment if it's just a tad too saturated for me. 
and yeah like so here this is a tad too green for me the skin tones like so now the skin tones are perfect for me if i would normally i also work on all photos locally a little bit so i would probably exaggerate the the eye enhance the eyes a little bit here but i won't do it today because i want to show you the skin uh, retouching on the little newborn for this one i will go with mellow seven or six i don't know no four is not so good i think six was, was awesome i like six and the tab brighter maybe so a little bit the skin adjustment i think that's a great edit let me show you before and after yeah next photo <laughs> cute i will of course straighten it i will use the table as a reference for my straightening i will use mellow one for example brighten it a lot and now i will warm it up because it's in the shade again like i said shade is like 6500 i will orient on this a little bit more magenta because the grass below her is casting a little bit green on her i will counterbalance this with the tint and yeah that's it that's my thank you Brittany. thank you thank you thank you next one next child in the grass let me go with mellow four here because i love the greens of mellow four right now it's a little bit too cold so i will warm it up until i like the skins and let's brighten it up a little bit warmer 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 like so a little bit more magenta tint yes like so see before and after let me go and show you the other presets that's metal one two three four we had that's four five six seven eight nine like i said the greens there will always be some of course if if a scenery is like really um has not a lot of colors in it it might might seem that the presets are similar but they are all so different in different aspects like you see here even the black and white looks awesome on this photo let's go to the next one here i will go with i don't know mm, i don't know i just click through until i like one i will go with mellow 2 brighten it a tiny bit it's a photo from Lindsay panel great photo and warm it up like so i will show you before and after that's my edit like i said i wanted to show diversity so we have another dog photo and it's also an australian shepherd one of my favorite dogs if i would get a dog again which i won't <laughs> is definitely this would be probably the one i would like to have because it's absolutely beautiful so 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 beautiful let me brighten it a little bit here warm it up and here's your before and after even on a dark photo i'm i mean the this the all tones are retained the 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 eye color is still the same nothing shifting away it's like i said it's really true to life preset uh, let me go to the next one an indoor shot again i will go with uh, any preset will work here let's go with mellow three just because we haven't used it here just brighten it up and yeah that's it already i mean that's amazing it's basically two clicks i clicked on a preset i clicked um i raised the exposure and that's it that's due to the photographer of course as well because her white balance is spot on for the scenery here so i didn't have to adjust anything though so now what i promised i told you guys i will show you uh, a nice way to smooth skin and what better way than a newborn right so we will use any preset here i will probably go with um mellow yeah i will go with mellow one here because mellow four is a tad i will warm it up a little bit more because i want some warmth in the skin so and yeah of course he has like these normal irritations newborns have nothing to worry about so the first thing i will do um is i will go into the new masking tools and what i like to do here is select a color range i click on color range and before i select one i will go on my skin brush and then i will click here i will try to click on a tone that is in the middle of the skin tones like not too dark not too bright i will click here between the eyes 
we can al always adjust it later. So we'll now calculate it. And then I click on show overlay. Uh, that's pretty perfect. And what you can do now is here on the color range on the refine slider, you can slide C. If I extend it, it will go up onto his head. I can lower it and only adjust here. So what I will do is for this first bit, I will select as much skin as I can. Then I will deselect the show overlay. And now I have my small skin and I can either either like that's, that's like no skin retouching. And here is like I can now dial in my skin smoothing until I'm satisfied. Until I'm like, okay, that's like how, how I want it. And I would like stay around, I would say here. And the good thing with this is because the eyes aren't selected and the human is um, pulled always into the eyes, you don't have to worry about anything being too soft. So the next thing I will do here is I will create a new mask. I will zoom in because he has some redness going on. I will select this here, click. Then I will go on my Soulmate Red Spot Remover Brush. Then I will click on Show Overlay here. And I will dial down the overlay until I have only selected all the redness that is going on in his face, as you can see here, like so. And if I now click sh Deselect the Show Overlay option, you can see the redness is already gone. Here is maybe a little bit, I could probably get a little bit more like so. As you can see, all the redness is already gone. I could go overboard here. If I go like to 100 on the red spot remove, we will see it looks desaturated. But it's not only saturation that goes down. There is more when the red spot remove it to counterbalance the redness. So you don't only... Um, like so I dial it in here around 18 it's perfect and what you can do now is use the spot healing tool and remove these little blemishes I won't do it now because it's too time-consuming um, as you can see my my computer is struggling because I'm streaming right now as well and yeah that's let me zoom out let me show you the before and after as you can see all the redness is gone the, the skin is clean I think that's an amazing technique. I can show you on another portrait maybe. Uh, they all have too good of skin tones. Let me find a portrait here where I can do it. I don't know. Yeah, let, let, me, let me use this one because some of you guys enjoy really smooth skin. As you can see here, I will do the same. I will click on the color range, create new mask, click here on a forehead. Then I will click show overlay and dial back the, the, the color range until I'm satisfied. Then I deselect show overlay and now you can dial in the skin smoothing here. Like see if I go to 100 it's like really really smooth, way too smooth in my opinion. But you can dial it down until it looks still natural and yeah. That's how I like to new the, to use the new masking features. I think it's absolutely amazing because it's so quick. You don't have to leave Lightroom. You don't have to run any other programs. It's easy, straightforward. Doesn't slow down your um, doesn't slow down your workflow. That's a really awesome feature. So I think that's not a too long of a video. We're streaming now for almost 40 minutes already. Um, I think it's amazing. Thank you for tuning in again. I will go to sleep now. It's 1am over here in Germany. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.